this tutorial video, I will give you a brief overview of the many features of Artesy Draft's powerful user interface. When opening a new project for the first time, you see the Jumpstart screen, which provides quick access to the main sections of Artesy Draft. A double click takes you to the desired section of your project. But let's start at the top. This is the main menu offering the possibility to save, close, or export the current project. It's also the place to switch the interface language. In a multi user project, you can also change your password or edit the project's users here. Right next to the main menu, you find the ribbon bar. Besides the usual under reader functionalities, it provides information on the server connection and shows a list of recent multi user activities. The tab bar is located beneath. Clicking on the plus creates a new tab, just like in a web browser. The home button on the left brings you back to the jumpstart screen. Underneath the tabs you find the navigation bar with a breadcrumb trail that displays the path to your current position in the project. Via the arrow buttons you can easily move back and forth or navigate upwards in the project structure. The next interface element I want to show you is the toolbar. Here you find the most used commands. For example it allows creating objects. We will go into more detail on using the toolbar in the next tutorial videos. If you prefer to use a context menu instead of the toolbar, you can also right click to receive a context sensitive list of possible commands. The main working area underneath the toolbar is divided into a hierarchic tree view for quick navigation through the project structure and the actual content area. A splitter in between allows resizing both areas. If one part is completely collapsed, a placeholder bar is displayed. Clicking on it restores the last splitter position before collapsing one side. The content area offers different view modes. You can switch the view mode via the tabs at the upper right of the content area. For instance, you can switch between the flow editor and the content browser view mode to see the same data in different ways. To see all the details of a certain object, choose the properties view mode. The UI is really flexible through its multi-pane approach, which lets you decide how your workspace shall be subdivided. Just click on one of the edges and hold down the left mouse button while dragging out a new pane. Thus you can keep an eye on a character sheet while writing a dialogue, just to name one possible use case. In addition, you can work with two windows, which is especially useful when having two monitors available. This tutorial covered the basics of the Artesy Draft user interface. The next videos will show you all the details when explaining the different features.